here today in Osaka, Japan, specifically in the Nipponbashi area, otherwise known as Denzen Town. This area is famous specifically for a lot of used electronic goods, so everything from PC parts, electronics, but especially for what we're looking at today, used video games. If you know anything about Japan and its otaku kind of geeky culture, uh, you very likely heard of Akihabara, which is located in Tokyo. Denden Town is essentially the Osaka version of Akihabara. <sighs> We're here today with my good friend Anthony, who, to be honest, is quite the, what I like to consider the wizard when it comes to really obscure uh, Japanese video games. So I hope today we're able to, to showcase some games that you've maybe never heard of before. Anthony, how's it going, dude? Good hey, to see you, man. Good to see you. Dude, welcome back. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Uh, the main focus of today is to show you what we think is the ultimate one day package here in Osaka, Japan, if you're looking for video games. Anthony and I actually met a few years ago back uh, when we studied abroad here in Osaka, Japan. And over the course of the last few years, we've spent probably a large portion of our time during our study abroad period hunting for video games. Yeah. And I think today's video is gonna be very beneficial to anyone who happens to be in the area or anywhere in Japan and is looking to pick up some games before you head home. To which I wanna ask you, Ant, what is on your list? I have a list ready to go right okay, here. Okay, what, what, uh, what are you looking for okay, in the so stores today? I'm looking mostly for Famicom today. So okay. there's, uh, there's a game where you play as a baby, and it's, uh, what's it called? It's like Baby No... No, it was... Uh, <laughs> I it was, Googled it, it last night. No, it was um, like Miracle, right? Mir like Bio Miracle. Bio Miracle yeah. on the Famicom. And there's another game that's a fighter on the Famicom called Joy Mech Fight. Joy it's Mech a very fight. strange game, yeah, yeah. What kind of game is that? It's, it's like a traditional fighter. Okay, uh, oh, an actual fighting game. Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool, cool. And then another one called Crisis Force, which is kind of like a shoot 'em up bullet hell game. Okay. Um, and then there's actually one on 360 I am looking to get. Uh, it's a two in one package with two uh, shoot 'em up games called Mushy Mushy Pork and Pink Sweets. So hopefully Sounds we'll awesome. find that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great. So what about you? What are you going to pick up? So recently, as you know, yep. I've been really, really collecting for the Sega Dreamcast. Yep. But I never had Sega stuff growing up, so only recently have I discovered how great the system is. I really love it. Um, I'm hoping to find some of those games today. Nice. Some of them are a little more expensive. Yeah, yeah. Um, we hope you find this guide helpful, and um, yeah, I guess... Uh, One last thing. Oh, what, what, what? We always start the day with these. Oh, man. <laughs> this is sort of a tradition in college. Whenever we'd go game hunting, uh, we would pick up these, and these are strong. Ah! And, uh, yeah. Oh, no. Is this the one you want? Is this yeah. mine? Yeah, this is yours right here. So, in college, our drink of choice at the time was this terrible nightmare known as Strong Zero. It is a 9%. This drink, it kind of falls on the gray line of what is actually alcohol and like pure chaos. I don't know what it really is. Yeah. But this is what we had in college. It's a little crazy. It's early, but we may be old farts now. We got day jobs. We got bills to pay, Aunt. Yep. But tradition is tradition. You ready? Yep. Cheers, man. Cheers. Come by. It's actually good. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you think so? <laughs> So I guess now we can start heading to our first location. Um, they're expecting us actually around now. So um, let's get going. Let's do it. All right. Let's hey, hey, there. wait a second. Yeah. Before you go, I got a question. Yeah. What's up with the outfit, bro? My outfit? Oh. Don't say anything about my duds. This is my lucky outfit, luckiest outfit. I've been doing this long enough that I know that luck plays the biggest factor when finding these games, dude. So we're going to four shops today. We got it all set up. There's a lot building up to this. Uh, I'm wearing my lucky outfit, my lucky duds, because guys, today, trust me, we're finding some games. So this is our first destination of the day, the Super Potato. Uh, it's actually not unlikely that you have heard of this chain before. It's located in three of Japan's most major cities, in Tokyo, Nagoya, and of course, here in Osaka, Japan. This store in particular actually has two floors. Uh, most of the modern games live on the main lower floor, but the majority of the retro stuff you're gonna find upstairs. I say we head directly upstairs and get this started. Let's head inside. All right. Oh man, here we are. <laughs> this 
this is one of those kinds of stores where you can easily lose hours. I like to think of it as more of a museum of games than even a game shop. Some of the stuff that's in here is very highly priced as it's very rare, very collectible. So although you might not be buying everything in this shop, um, just to go in, get lost for a few hours, and just look at what is on display, you can easily spend hours in here. So I suggest coming with, with a full stomach, get a big breakfast before you come here, free up your schedule for a couple hours, and head on to Super Potato. All right. All right, Ant. Already, like as soon as you walk up, you can see like the Mother 3. Uh, Let's look at it. The micro there. Wow. Oh my gosh. Every time so I come good. back here, the price goes up. Does it? Is it always yeah. here? On the, on the Mother 3 uh, micro, yeah. This one only came out in Japan, right? Mother 3 uh, never came out in America yeah. to this day. So this fan translations for it. I've heard That's of how it, you yeah. can play it. We're a little nervous about like spinning facts about games and stuff that we know. Uh, we're sure we're probably gonna get corrected in the comments if we make any mistakes, but yeah. that's part of the fun of game hunting. We're just here, like we don't know everything. He knows a lot more than I do, but uh, learning is half the fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've been coming here for the last few years. I kind of, I guess I just never noticed this. Check this out. This is a crane game. These are, for one dollar, I can try to win a DS, Game Boy Advance, and PSP memory cards. Check this out, dude. These are, I yeah, mean, these actually, games are more, worth more than a dollar. There's Switch games in there, too. There's like no, Animal Crossing. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. So I'm gonna, I see Animal Crossing right here All for right. the DS. I'm gonna go for that. There's other there's other more valuable ones, but I got five or six bucks here. I wanna see if I can get it. Let's see. Definitely worth the attempt. Here we go. Let's try it. Oh, that's a slow. That's the slowest crane I've ever seen. <laughs> that is a slow tension. Dude, we can maybe... I don't know, it's, it's Dude, that's, that's impossible. Oh, that's really, that, I, and, you wanna give it a shot? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Okay. All right, I don't even know what I wanna go for. I'm just gonna. Oh God, don't get caught. <laughs> oh, all right, just missed it, we're good. What? <laughs> that's the wobble strategy right there. <laughs> Yo, yo! No way! Come on, please. <laughs> That's how it's done right there. I don't even know what it is. What is it? I don't know. Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. Oh, Troze. Troze. Oh, it's a good puzzle game. <laughs> I can't believe I just fucking won that. That's incredible. Oh my god. Well, yes. I won't be needing these, so. Thanks, man. Go. I, I suck. Man, I stink. Eric. What was your name? Uh, my name is Joe. Nice Joe? to meet you. Joe? Nice to meet you. Oh, oh, nice to meet you. Okay, yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Hong Kong. Oh, nice. So I'm not Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. May what? I take the picture with you? Absolutely. Let's get a photo. Yeah. Here, uh, everyone, everyone. Everyone. Come on. Three, two, one. Yeah. Nice. Hey, thanks, <laughs> man. Hey, you're welcome. Okay. Right. Oh, enjoy. So our cameraman for today, Sir Sebastian, uh, I forgot to ask you, are you looking for any games today? I am looking for a couple games, but I don't think I'll be buying any, but the games that I have on my radar are, um, well, Bubble Ghost was one of them right here. Bubble Ghost. Oh, for real? Okay. Bubble Ghosts. Um, Dang, 60 bucks though. Yes. Yeah. It looks a little bit big, um, for, probably because it's super potato. Is it um, is it usually pretty pricey though that game? It's 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 a bit rare, so yeah, it's a little bit pricey. Okay. Um, also, I was interested in uh, Kid Dracula, and yeah, I've, I've heard of that Game Boy, and I haven't seen that yet. So okay, you know, maybe we'll come across it eventually. I'll keep an eye out. Yeah. I already I already know in my head where the Dreamcast section is, but I, I almost want to yeah. save it. So let's let's walk through the store. Yeah, we'll just save that for last. Yeah. Place. Looks like we have a uh, Famicom and Super Famicom down here. It's pretty it's pretty amazing because you know you see a lot of box copies of stuff, but you don't really see that as often in America. Summer '92 Rekka, really good shooter on the uh, Famicom. What's, what's Miss Peach World? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> Should I look it up? Sure. Okay, so this is Peach in Mrs. Peach World. That's Peach? Assy. 
Wait, what? This I just searched Miss Peach World and this is what came up. It looks terrible. <laughs> There's no dude. <laughs> it's Peach on the Skateboard. I forgot to mention, on my top three, Ghostbusters has been released on like every retro system in existence, much, right? Yeah, yeah. And most of the games really, they're not very good, they stink. However, Ghostbusters 2 for the Game Boy was created by, oh. who do you think? The developer. <laughs> Al Laboratories. Oh, really? The, the developers who made Super Smash Brothers Come made a, a Ghostbusters wow. game for the Game Boy. So I'm hoping to find it, but I'm a little nervous to see the price, but, um, well, uh, I, I'm hoping to see it. Now, there's a lot of, like, Game Boy games in the case here. Maybe we can find Ghostbusters in here, huh? That would be the place. This Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, <laughs> original Game Boy. No Ghostbusters. The hunt continues. You know, this is actually a pretty good deal right here, because it comes with the expansion pack. Okay! So, nowadays, like, the expansion pack for N64 goes about as much as the console itself, so it's probably a good deal. And then you can do this. This comes with a controller. This is the Mario 64 with the controller. And the box is just really cool. Wow, Proteus is only 15 bucks. This never came to America. It seems like the, the cheaper ones are like better priced, but once it gets to the rare games, it starts to really jump up. Like Proteus for 1400 yen, I feel like is a pretty good deal. It's funny because there's some American titles that are more expensive here, like 007 on uh, N64 goes for more than it would in America. But um, yeah, like games like this, I mean, this never even came to America, so this is something good to pick up. This game sucks. <laughs> this game fucking sucks. It's uh, Takashi's Challenge. He's like a famous actor in Japan, Takashi. He came up with a game, and it's... It's supposed to be really realistic, but it's just so much detail, and if you mess up one little thing, you have to start over. It's definitely not well made. Wow. Classic right here. Which one? Panel Day Pong. One? Yeah. I'm so. really bad at it, but we played this a lot in college. That's it's, it's fun. In America, this is uh, Tetris Attack right here. They rebranded it with all the Mario characters ah, just to I appeal to the American that. audience. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yep. I gotta say, I I love like like accessories. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of you'll find a lot of box accessories. I mean, like here, right? So this looks like a Super Famicom cartridge holder. How much is that? Twenty five. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. It's pretty cool. So I like to buy one of these every time I come out here, and I want to get a bunch of games because you put it in there, and you know they're you're like if you get a box game, oh, it's not going to get messed up when you're traveling back to America. Like you could just literally put this in your suitcase, or even yeah. or even use it as like a check-in bag. Exactly. You could yeah. Probably bring this as a carry-on. How funny would that? Be? <laughs> you look ridiculous, but how funny would this be to bring on a carry-on as like with your flight with bring all of like your rare gems and like slide this in there? You look like a goo. That's this one right here. That's awesome. Oh, that's oh, N64. 64. That's, that's cool. cool. How much is that? I don't need this, but it's only 10 bucks. Hey. <laughs> do you have this one? <laughs> How dope is that? <laughs> Who is this guy? Sega <laughs> Their ad campaign was the typical like salary man. Like oh really? It was a Dreamcast. I mean this 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 system was made for. This is the Japanese. Dreamcast for me. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Best game on the Famicom are right these here. Games? Mario Three. Yeah, these are Famicom. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know a lot some, about the Some family games have um, plastic cases. Really? So these like last forever, yeah. That's a great box, look at that. Yeah, that's nice. Wow, 25 bucks, that's not bad. I think I wanna get it for the Game Boy though. So everybody knows that's that cool. Mario 2 in the USA was different, but not many people know they made a USA version on the Famicom right here. Spot, I, I, isn't that a game? Like, isn't, I mean, isn't that like known? I've seen <laughs> this guy. Have you been in the Dreamcast section yet? No. We can go we look, go? man. There's. This is one that I need. I'm gonna get this one just to. Uh, What's this? It's Grandia 2. Oh, it's, dude. It's considered like there's there's a few great JRPGs on the Dreamcast, and that's one of them. Yeah. Apparently. Also available on Switch. 
Is that right? Yep. Uh, right. Grandia 1 and 2. Got Only an 10 bucks. Remaster. So I'm going to get that. Yeah. It's on my list. Have you played any of these? No. One is a great, yeah. great game. Yeah, I'm not I'm not the biggest JRPG guy. Not that I don't like them. I just, they're so long. You know, it's yeah. hard to invest. Yeah. But um, I the one I did play though back in the day was Legend of Dragoon for the PlayStation. I bought that one like not knowing what it was. Yeah. I had $3 in my pocket and I bought it. And it ended up being one of my favorite games of all time. It's a great game. Um. I'm gonna move on toward. You wanna go to the other side? Yeah, let's yeah. go to the other side. Yeah, I've been in this aisle for a while. I have service. Can I look these up? Yeah. Yeah. I just like, I know what Layla plays like, but I kind of want to see how Athena plays. You have a missed call. It's from Sebastian. I think. I don't get phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody fucking calls me. <laughs> Do we get the. Which one's this? I'm gonna have to pass on this one. <laughs> wait, 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 which one was that? This is Athena. <laughs> Dude, Jeez. I say Layla for sure. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Should've got Layla. <laughs> Layla Famicom. <laughs> oh, this looks pretty good. Tell your friends. So it's good, it's actually good, I'm just blowing. <laughs> it's the Japanese a and Game Boy that's all Nippon Airways, which is the Japanese airline company. It looks like they had their own Game Boy. And it's pretty expensive, it's around like almost $300 or maybe $250 around there. Good find. So check this out, get the camera in here. So this is the Toys R Us. Yeah, it's the Toys R Us N64 uh, controller. I think there was like a bundle that came out with Toys R Us. This, this um, controller has been here since oh, before forever. you and I oh, studied yeah. abroad. Yeah, I know. No one's bought it, it's $300. <laughs> I you really wanna want to buy it? If, if it was the Millennial 2000 controller, I'd, I would debate on getting it. Crazy. One of my favorite parts of this whole store is just right here. It's something you probably wouldn't expect. It's game guides and art books. So, I mean, just one thing that comes to mind here. I actually might even, oh my gosh, I might even get this. Look at this. The game guide for Star Fox 64 for almost, you know, $6, $7. That's not bad. You can't, I can't open it and get a look at it, but I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to get that. What else do we have here? All right, I think I'm pretty much good here. Yeah. I mean, we have three, we're going to three more stores today, so do you want to get going? Yeah, what I want to do is just pick up, you know, one thing at every store, so I'm going to go with uh, Layla on the Famicom. It has some permanent marker, but you can just clean that off pretty easily, who, so. Who, who is it? On the back. It's a uh, Kami? Katsu, Katsumi. Katsumi? Katsumi. Okay. Who's that, Ant? It's me now. <laughs> All right. Here we go. はい、ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。は
I can send you a photo of the sign. It's in Japanese. Would you mind reading it for me and uh, maybe translating it for me? Give, give to me and I can translate. Yes, please. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. One moment. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling right now, Anthony? I'm hungry. Very hungry. <laughs> uh, forgive my Japanese. We just learned a little Japanese lesson. Honten means like the the their main store. This apparently isn't their main store. Jap you learn a little Japanese every day, I suppose. This is the first for me. <laughs> We found it. Oh, sumo sen, yonin desu. Yonin desu. Here at this restaurant, you order from the little vending machine here. It's got uh, English, Chinese, and Korea. Something about curry on a game day. I know. Does that mean, does say I need 50 more? Or is that... No, nope, it's your change, so if you push that. <clears throat> All right. A little souvenir. <laughs> nice. Awesome. So good. It's very good. Nice, man. How was it, Eric? Oh. <laughs> we delayed our lunch by like two hours, so it tastes so good right now. We're so hungry. And what are you playing there, dude? It's in Mario Land. Right? Is that Marty McFly? What are you looking at, butthead? All right, so we finally got some lunch in us. Time for the next spot. Again, this place was called Oritachi no Karia. Uh, this was the manager. Thank you again so much. I think that's the most stuff. That's the most That was great. Anthony said it best. Nice curry. Good Very flavor. good. Yeah, it was well, delicious. I got a small, and I'm, I mean, I'm a small guy, but I'm pretty stuffed and uh, ready to keep moving. But Let's I think it. we should probably get one more uh, strong, though, huh? Yeah, we gotta keep it going. <laughs> okay. Uh, to Super Potato number two. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun putting this together. If you enjoyed it at all, please check out part two, where we continue our journey in Osaka looking for retro games at not one, but three additional retro video game themed stores and also a retro gaming themed bar. We had so much fun doing this, so let us know what you liked about this video down below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you guys so much, and I wish you all the best from Osaka, Japan. See you guys in part two.